when you come to graveyards, it's actually a lot better oftentimes than going online and just searching in a database. And one reason is, is because sometimes the gravestones have details that are not available on the uh, online website. And in this case, I didn't, I, I don't think I saw this before, but it says that uh, one of my great, great, great uh, grandfather was age 52 when he died. It also gives the date of death, 1842. So now we know uh, when he was born, 1790. Uh, another interesting thing for his father, who is buried in the same graveyard right here, um, it talks about the details of where, where he was born in Ireland, which is great uh, information for researchers. And also, I didn't notice this detail, also Bernard, his son, died February, and it's kind of cut off. So that's the type of detail that wouldn't be included in, a, um, you know, in an online record. The other things that are going on, you can see the information about other people buried nearby who could be related, maybe from the same town or same area, or they were close in some other way. It's hard to, hard to say though, but research might turn that up. So here we have someone surnamed Rose, someone named Connor. The Connors are buried here. Uh, beyond the Lynches are the Tobins. And I think I've said this before, that house over there was actually built by my ancestor. William Lynch, probably in the 1830s when they came over from Ireland.